Hello. Uh, I thought you were going to open the show. Uh, you have to give me a warning. Try it again, okay? Yeah. We'll take a three-second break and do it again. Okay. You want the intro music, too? Ah. Uh. Okay, here we go. Let's try Hey! No, you can't talk to him. Oh, I can't. Oh, you do what you want. This Sorry. This my intro. Let's try it over. Hold okay. on. Okay? You go. Welcome to the Super Chevy Bros Show, starring Chavar. Hey, Chavar. Am I supposed to talk before the music? Okay. Hi. <laughs> uh, welcome, okay. everyone. Is that too what? No, that's fine. Okay, that's... I loved it. It's fine. Right, you gotta keep it rolling. You got like Alex Trebek. You know, you keep talking. Welcome everyone to the Super Chevy Bros Show, and I'm Mom. If I didn't introduce myself. By the way, Alex Trebek is gonna be the worst host ever now, right? Not. Oh no, he's no, dead. he's dead. Not him. Alex <laughs> oh my god, he's great. What about what's the Wheel of Fortune guy? I can't even think of him now that you... <laughs> I can't believe you said that about Alex Trebek. Well, I guess he is the worst host if he were alive. Oh, my God. <laughs> but Alex Trebek was, was great. Uh, Will... Okay, let's leave Will of Fortune alone. I just want to know. What's I that Will him did, too. It's Vanna and... Vanna White. Pat Sajak. Pat Sajak. Pat Sajak's just calling it in every day now. Have you seen him on there recently? Oh. He walks up. He's been doing it for like 90 years. That's true. Like, bored. But nobody else will hire him. Think about it. He's been doing it so long. So, I'm going to be your Pat Sajak tonight. Okay. And you can be Vanna. Okay. All right. So, how are we going to start this show? Are we going right into the... News and dips. Are we going to talk about Last of Us? Yeah, go ahead. You watched the first episode of Last of Us. Yeah. I watched it today. You did, okay? Yeah, because I yeah. All right. uh, so, what do you think? It's mom. This is a mom's review, or do is I this get just a, a review? Oh, okay. Intro? So it is. It is a mom's review. Which one you want? One or two? The original. That's it. Got it. Yeah. Okay, well, I, it was a fascinating week. I have caught up on a lot of things, started watching some other things, anticipating some other things, such as Succession, one of my favorite shows. Um, what else is coming back? Uh, Your Honor. Your Honor. Ooh, that's a show. Mayor of Kingstown. Mayor of Kingstown, one of my oh, There was favorites. something else I saw that's coming back. That I was like, well, that's coming back? And you were like... Oh, well, that was good while it lasted. Pa Mary Payson. Payson Mary. Perry Mason? Perry Mason. Mason. I didn't bad. finish the first season. You know, I think what it is, it's a psychological thing. It's so different from the original. Yeah, yeah it's Mason. not like the... It's yeah. nothing like that. It's it's your psycho Perry Mason or something. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, it's different. very different. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it. I like it. It's not bad. It's just not like fun. It's not fun. It's, not, it's really it's kind of fun. depressing. <laughs> yeah. But let's talk about something exciting. The Last of Us. Is it The Last of Us or Last of Us? The. It's The. The. The, the, the Last abbreviation of is T-L-O-U. No one likes to type it. It's just T So it's The. The yeah. Last of Us. Okay. So I saw the previews and I had to stop watching the previews because I'm like, this is oddly familiar. And come to find out, it's familiar because it's based on a game. The game's not based on the movie. It's based on the game. 
So I recall seeing this game played by none other than the star of the show, Shivar, when he showed the game to me and Kalinika. Yeah, we sat in the room. I think it, it might be on the YouTube. I don't know. I, oh, I hope I'm pretty not. sure it was a Because we were screaming. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. It was, oh, gosh. So I, we, I think it was a video. It might be on YouTube. It might not be. I hope but not. But I, I know it, there, there was recording going on. We were screaming. You guys were screaming your brains out. It was just weird the way the game was played. And it was we were in a dark room too. That didn't help at well, all. Well, I knew you guys are you guys are jumpy. So you're playing in a dark room. It's kind of a scary, intense game. Yeah, yeah. Right? But it was fun. It was fun to watch and then it was even more fun knowing that they made this series based on the game. So I, I vaguely remembered the game because it's been a few years, a couple of years. Maybe. Two years, I think. Yeah. And so when I started watching, I'm like, mm, I remember him having a daughter. I'm not giving anything away because these are gamers. They know everything. I'm not going to tell you. For the most part. I mean. Okay. But I didn't remember. And then I'm like, okay, maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. And the story goes, and it's really smooth. It's, it's written very well because as it continued, things started coming back to me. And the favorite part of it for me is that they explained. I need explanations. Yeah, in the in the game, I'd say the first episode in the game, I almost it's not one to one, but it's not like Halo, where Halo's taking like crazy liberties to okay. tell like we'll a, figure like, this it's out. A, right. This is this. It's not like the game. This is almost. I wouldn't say one for one like the games, but. If it's 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 going the exact same path, the same way, the show started kind of a little before the game start. Like it's right. the earlier right. part of it's the day. It's giving a little right? background, but not yeah, too much. Not too much, and like the the part at the it has a cold open, I guess. Where it's right, happening. nothing's yeah. happening, but they're setting it up. Right, right. but Very well. in, in the game, you'd have to pick up the newspaper and read it right. and, and get. Because, you know, a game has to be like, they can't just tell you. Yeah. Because then it's like. I wanted like, to rewind it like three times just to get that, hear that part again. Because I'm like, I, I just was blown away that they took the time to really explain. I was happy. It made me happy. Not a happy movie. but It's a no, show. It's not a happy show. But it made me happy. To know what was going on. What was going on. I appreciated that. So as things progressed, it was very close to the show. I mean, to the uh, game. Now I'm getting self-confused. And I appreciated that too because I went so far with the game watching. You can play it. It's on PlayStation 4. I, I will. You got to get me a joystick. I ordered one. It's on the way. Okay. So um, I just want to say, if you haven't watched it, Pull up the popcorn and the sodas and get ready. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I don't want to review this every week. I hate that. I like to do marathons. So I may okay. wait. Well, what you can do is just say, did you like the episode or not? Or, or you can wait. You can I, wait till I the end if you that, want. But you I, do what you want. I, I like know. to watch two or three in a row, you know? Yeah. I, I have another one. I know we don't need music for it. I don't want to necessarily get off of this one. Did you have something else to add? No, I, I thought um, I the main, Joel, the guy, Joel, is one of my favorite video game characters. Tommy's it's his it. friend. Tommy's his brother. brother. It really is his, his brother. brother. Okay. Yeah, it's his brother. Yeah. I thought he meant like brother in arms because he's an army. No, it's his brother. It, it's brother. But... Um, the guy with Pascal, I don't, the guy playing him, I think there's a good job as Joel. Cause he, he reminded me of the character in the video game. Yeah, yeah they, they've they got, I mean, they've... They did he, it. He's like, like Joel. They yeah. did it. Yeah. And he plays the role very well. I may he, have to run it again because I think I sort of fell asleep. It's long. I think the premiere is yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't because it was boring, not at all. It was because I was tired. So I might watch it again tomorrow. Not tonight. Okay, so, yay, let's watch The Last of Us. It's going to be great. 
I'm looking forward to the next episode and to watching the end of it. So, the other item I have, Tulsa Kings. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I think it's just one, one king. Tulsa King. Uh, king. Gun. Yeah, there you go. Speaking of Japanese, hold on. Oh. What? <laughs> There's a stabbing in front of the station I used to work at. And I got that. It's it's kind of big news because some a woman was just killed, stabbed right in front of the station today. Two days ago, it was at five thirty p.m. You you've been at the station. Yeah. It's thousands thousands of, people. of people. Five thirty p.m. He stabs this woman and runs away. No oh one knows God. what he looks like. What do you think that his description is? I'm not even. His going description there. is he had a knife. He had a <laughs> knife. <laughs> He had a black, he wore a black shirt and he had, had black knife. hair. And he had a knife. And then the picture they released is just like a mannequin with a black jacket. And... Oh my gosh. It's so, it's so wild. No one pays attention to that country. There's a guy stabs a woman to death in front of the most populous place, probably on in the, in that uh, yeah. prefecture. Prefecture, yeah. Wow. And no one. No one stops him. No one takes a picture. Maybe no she didn't yell loud. You know, people aren't very loud there. Maybe we... she said, ouch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did she live? They're the most polite. They're so polite. Victims ever. She probably said, oh, like that. Evie, die. Ooh. Like that? I'm not going there. Just, ow. I mean, no. if, she if she didn't did... scream. If somebody stab me, you're not going to go. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, poor lady. I know. It's <laughs> probably he'll probably get away with it unless he like turns himself in. And, he will. Some, some, who, who says he will? Of course he will. No, there are no criminals in Japan. There are tons of criminals. <laughs> I wonder why he did it though. It was probably. I would say it was probably random. Usually, when random. you hear about a knife attack or like somebody setting themselves on fire or. Shooting a bunch of people. It's probably it's usually like random. <clears throat> Cause if you were going to kill someone you know, probably wouldn't do it in front of everybody. So or he was a stalker or something, you know. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe Why? he was stalking. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? That's sad. I hope she's okay. She's dead. <gasps> I, did you not get the part where he's he murdered stabbed. and murdered? Stabbed and murdered. Did he like multiple stabber or just one? Yeah, stabber? he got it. Good. It's like people watched. They watched him do it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, duh, ooh. And nobody said no one, anything. Well, they said he had black hair. That's horrible. He looks like he's between 35 and 50. That's like a public. That's not funny. It's like a public <laughs> that's execution. That's the description they gave. Oh. I don't know. If you. If you can I say something? Go ahead. I'm not trying to get profound here or anything. I'm Don't be far profound. from it. But I think that's the worst possible position you can ever have in the world is to watch. Watch yeah, bad watch things people, happen. Yeah, watch something happen. Watch things while they're happening and not do well, anything. It's well, it's a second. Besides it's, doing it? Besides it being done to yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Doing doing probably other, that's probably the worst perspective. I just, no, I don't know. I just don't know how you watch something like that. Nothing. I, I'd say probably 80% of the people walking by were literally just walking by looking at their Instagram. They might have thought it was a show or... No. Oh, you when, mean not, when, they're looking at their Instagram. So, so 80% of the people walking by just looking phone. at their phone, You're look right. here, walk through, and then the other 20% who saw it one thing you'll notice in Japan with most people, when it hits the fan, all functions shut down. I whether it's somebody jumps and hits a train or a car crash, people just freeze. Don't know what to do. But that's just no sad. clue. But no no idea. A car barreling down the road, someone falls asleep and is gonna hit a bunch of people on the sidewalk. Everyone on the sidewalk just Freeze. Freeze. 
No one knows what to do. Well, I'm sad to hear that. Anyway, back to Tulsa Kings. <laughs> yeah, very relatable topics. Tulsa, yeah, Tulsa Kings. King. All right. There might be a knife in there somewhere. I'm not sure how we got to knives. Um, Tulsa King starring Sylvester Stallone, a giant in the industry, uh, from Rocky, Rambo, many other tough guy things that he does. The tough guy. Um, once again, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Once again, he's a tough guy. Tough guy. Um, now I forgot his name because you did the laugh thing. Sylvester Stallone. No, in the show. Oh. He's, um, Man Freddy. Yes. Dwight, Dwight Man Freddy. Man Freddy. Thank you. I should let you do this review. He's Dwight Man Freddy, and he's a longtime gangster. He's a made man sent to prison. For something that he didn't do, but and this is a TV show. Right? Yes, it's a series. He covered it. Uh, he covered somebody's behind because he's the man. They knew he could do the time without uh, squealing on everyone. Twenty-five years he did in prison, not jail, prison, and he survived, even though he had to fight and ward off some things. But once he got out, he was ready to come out and be taken care of by the family, which is the expectation. However, things changed once he got outside. Uh, I won't go into all those details. I want you to watch it because it's a really fascinating series. Um, changes that take place all center around his loyalty and others' disloyalty. I'll Really good story. Um, I was surprised. I avoided watching it. I think it came out when November or September. November, I believe um, that I don't was. Know. It's, it's a while. I ago. believe it was November, and I avoided it every time I saw it on Peacock. Is it Peacock? No. It is on. It's Peacock. Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus. Yes. Paramount yes, Plus. Yes. On Paramount Plus, and I would just scroll past it to something else because I'm like, what is he doing? Well, I'll tell you what he's doing. Mr. Stallone, he'll be but No, that's the other guy, right? That's the other okay. guy. That's not him. Yeah, yeah. He's got it. He's got it. The Rambo. So no. I, I suggest and recommend you watching Tulsa King's it is an exciting show. It's hard to stop watching. The se this first season's over. They have to have another one because it's so good. Uh, I have one last episode to watch. And I can't wait to watch it. But I am waiting because I want it to be thrilling and exciting. It's, it's leading up to this crescendo now. And this last episode, 9, is going to be that. Hoping he'll come back another season although he's given hints and in interviews that he's not going to act anymore just be behind the scenes um he would have to stay uh the main character in this series because it's all about him so i do hope right. he actually comes back all right and that's my review it was a great great couple of series even though there's only one episode of the Last of Us, but it's been a great week for watching. And that's my wrap up. We need some music, sir. Okay. Didn't have to say that. I was but you ready. Were just not. Well, you get the other one. <laughs> okay, you can cut that. Well, good. I'm glad you enjoyed your Tulsa King singular. Loving it. You keep saying it with. Plural. I don't want to confuse Tulsa anyone. King. And uh, Last of Us. The Last of Us. Sorry, you're right. The Last of Us. I finished God of War. Um, since last we had a podcast. That's not a series. Oh, you mean the game? 
Yes. All if, right. If I'm, you finished. If I'm not one. talking about the non-existent series, oh. then yes. <laughs> Yeah, the hey, the game. You didn't tell me about that. Yeah, it. So did it, you win? So. <laughs> what? You said you finished the game. Yeah, when you finish a game, you won. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> so you can't lose and finish a game. I guess that's true. Not not like a. Narrative driven game, you can't lose and finish. Okay. You can't, if you finish it, well, I guess you've you. quote unquote won the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's great, I, it's 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 you know, it was worth the wait. So, once you finish it, that's it, you don't no, play there's, anymore. And... No, there's more to do. There's a there's an end game. Do you know what an end game is? No, okay. So, when you play a game, you can do all these things and have your adventure, get to the end of the game, and you finish the main chunk of the game. And the then, narrative or story or whatever. And then, so for people who want to keep playing, there's what's called the end game. Dif end game is different for different games. But essentially, they are a part of the game that is tailored to your character being at the end, so they're strong and have other stuff. So there's things you can do at the end of the game you can do during the game because of equipment or power level or whatever it may be. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, there's still in-game stuff. But as far as the main chunk of the game, I've beat the game. Yay. Okay. So you got, you got it. Now is when you ask questions. Oh. Conversation. So... Here we go. Let's see how this goes. How, how long did it take you to beat the game? Ooh, how long did it take me to beat God of War? I've been playing this for like three years, right? The game came out in November. Oh, three months. I beat it like three weeks ago. You didn't say that. But that's good, right? I'm not playing it every day, all day. That's, th that's sad. What? No one should play anything. All day, every day. People do that. that they, people. Okay, then never ever criticize me for Housewives or Love Island. No, that's completely do different. Not. I'm not. Look, I don't criticize you for it. Okay. You do. No, I don't. I'm just saying, don't act. Don't. Okay, look. You say instead of going home watching those crappy, stupid Housewives. No, no it, but you should the, be I, the, reading about gaming stuff. The operative word there is instead of. When you want to do other stuff. But your descriptors then, are kind of negative. Then you do other stuff. I didn't say watching TV is bad. I just say. No, watching TV. Watching There's following. a lot of life that goes on while you're watching TV. That's true. But I think the TV you're watching, you can literally skip 10 episodes and not be behind at all. Not on Love Island. Oh, okay. You will miss a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Anyway, back to God of War where we get on Love Island. Okay. Um, so, who did you defeat? You want me to ask questions? All right. So, I'm going to make a note here. That's not a good question. I saw you play that game. I saw uh -huh. the guy and his son. Uh -huh. Right? Huh? I saw things happen with the sun. I don't want to do any giveaways. You keep okay. telling me, quit spilling beans. So, I mean, after you fought the woman who was jumping at you from the skies and trying to kill you, your ex-wife, is that who that was? No. His mom? No. She was mean. I thought she, she, was, she mean. was related. She was, <laughs> she was mean. She's very mean. No, she's not related. Okay. So um, after you fought her, that's the last I saw. You fought her while you were on a sled. I had to. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I had to play the game for at least 25 hours. At least. And then I did most of the end game stuff before the end game. So my end game is kind of shorter than. So. When you progress through the game, you get other tools and things to go do other things. Right. So there's a main path of the narrative, 
But then you can go do other stuff if you want instead of doing that. So I did a lot of other stuff. So I did, I probably front loaded a lot of my hours on the not main story progression. Okay. So the story is he's left, he's there with his son. They have to hide, right? Well, okay. The hiding stops soon after. Why are they hiding anyway? they hiding from well if you played god of war one you didn't say the god of war what is he hiding from he's he's okay <laughs> he's so, he's the god of war of the greek mythology he's no longer there and he's got he's moved to a different country norse mythology he's retired he doesn't want to do god of war so stuff. he just wants to be with his son and have a regular life Yes. A peace guy. But they won't let him. Have they won't let him. <laughs> they, won't, they won't let him have a regular They life. want that war. Anyway, I think I think the story is really fun. It's good. Um, I think the... It didn't go where I thought it was going to go at the end oh, of the last okay. game. It, so, you know, without giving out away too much. Yeah, don't, I, because people want to play it. Yeah, but we have to talk about it. Oh, go ahead. So does it end the same way for mm. everyone? This game, yes. Okay. This game ends the same way for everyone. Okay. Not all games. Yeah. So this game does, yeah. Um, and I it ties up a lot of the character. There, there's a lot of character drama in these two games. It ties up a lot of that, like the woman trying to kill you at the right. beginning of the game. Uh, it it like introduces it. a lot of new characters, and it ties up all their stuff. Did his son ever become a little more reasonable? Because he was a jerk. Yes, he does. Okay. He was more of a jerk in the last game. He's less of a jerk. He's older now in this one. Well, in the last one, he's like 11 or 12 years old. Or something. That's what he seemed to be in the one I saw you playing. In no, the, the one you saw me play, he's may- maybe... 14... Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. He's still young. Uh but yeah, it, it get, he gets a little more reasonable and narrative wise uh well gameplay wise, you get to play as him. Yeah. And at first I didn't like those parts, but then I did. Like you upgrade the guy. You, it's very different from playing as Kratos, his father. Okay. So it that's fun. Um it's it is longer than I thought it would be. But it's it's longer. But when you compare it to the last game, sometimes when you have like a game like this where the engine is the same, the graphics are mostly the same. I mean, they look it looks better than the last game, but it's oh, it looks know, great. It it's not you know they haven't like moved to a new engine or a new thing. It's a wonderful <laughs> look to it. I'm I'm real surprised. Like they don't recycle as many enemies as the game usually does. Like in the last game, it lots of trolls you fight when you go to a place. Those are still here in some capacity, but the, it it's way fewer. Like when you see a troll, you're like, "Oh, it's a troll." It's like a, it, it's actually yeah, a moment to have there. The combat super fun, it, engaging. I played it on the second hardest difficulty. Ooh. So so now you have to play it on the hardest. Sure. Yeah. If the I don't know if there's a new game plus yet. I think there it's coming, and when it does, and I ha- if I have the option to do that, I will play in the harder difficulty. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah, it it's pretty tough. Um, yeah. and there's a lot you have to learn and play around with. I still don't feel like I've mastered all the stuff, but it it's. They the weapons they give you and the different ways you use them are real creative. You use them in, in different situations for different purposes, and it, it's fun switching between mashing different stuff, throwing different stuff, uh, and it it looks really cool afterwards. It, when right. you're in it, it's really tense, but if you watch your gameplay or something, it looks real cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I it it's. Between God of War and Elden Ring as game of the year last year, it's really tough for me. I spent 
I think I was looking at Elden Ring. I had 290 something hours oh in Elden God. Ring. And oh, whoa, hold on. How many hours do you have in Housewives? How many hours? Yeah. How many hours do you have in I've turned the TV on to watch Housewives? That's what I'm doing and I'm gonna do even when you walk in the kitchen, you're just listening to it or whatever. How many hours of Housewives? Probably about two hundred and ninety hours. Okay, so there you go. Over how long of a period? I've been playing Elder Ring since the beginning of the year last year. So Okay, yeah. we're talking maybe six years. No, no I, I guarantee, guarantee you. I've been watching those housewives for a long time. Yeah, you've, then you've got more than 300 hours. I know. How many seasons have you watched? Multiple. How many? About. Atlanta? Was it, they're on season 12, I think, or 13. You've watched that whole thing? Not all at once. But you've watched the whole thing? Yeah, over Okay, how years. long is an episode? Like 45 minutes? Yeah. Okay. So if it's forty five minute episodes, twelve seasons, how many seasons to how many episodes to a season? Like fifteen? Huh? Two <laughs> episodes to a season? Yeah, yeah see the math happened. started clicking, right? It didn't, make, <laughs> it didn't start working out for you when you started thinking about it. Including the reunions. Including the reunions, which are like two hours each, right? Yeah, you're way over three hundred, okay? Yeah, all right. But see, that's see? only one game you're playing at a time. You got many more. Well, I, I'm not last year I played one you. game at a time. All right, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Anyway, God of War, great game. Uh, definitely one of the best PlayStation 5 games. Um, it, I, I like it just as much, if not more, than the last one. So if you haven't played it, you should. It's, all right. So why? Okay. okay. Don't, Don't do that. What are we got to talk about this. What? For what? once, we've oh, talked about games. We're talking about And games. you're giving me the roll signal. Like, we got to move on. I'm giving you opportunity to ask questions or, or dive deeper into the, the thing I so we can have a conversation. Everything. From what I know, I've asked everything I could possibly ask. About the dog. Oh, the dog died. About the son. The father. You could ask. The flight, uh, you didn't have lady. to ask only about like you could ask about the the meta of the. I asked the how meta. long it took. Okay. How many times did you die? How many times did I die? Yeah. Uh, at least a hundred times. Okay. I played it on a very difficult mode. Did you play with someone or just alone? It's a single player game. You can only play alone. All right, well. That sounds great. I'm glad you finished that. Did you finish any other games this week? I did, but we're not talking about that now. <laughs> but it's about games. What did you finish? I have I have to prep you for games that you haven't played yet so that you can talk about them when I well, when I, I watched you play God of War. You watched me play like the first hour, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'd spent 30 hours. <laughs> I, I feel terrible. I missed the last hour. Not the ones in between. Just the last hour. No, you want to see the ones in between. That's where that's where the fun is. Okay, what else did you finish? I'll tell you about that next week. I have to prepare you for okay. it. Okay, I'm excited. So you ask more questions than Rag did you win. Rock God of War. <laughs> did you win? Did you win? Did you win the games? <sighs> Where are we headed? Let's do the AI one. Doesn't it require music? We are doing like. Hey, if you want the soundboard, you can come take it. Now. Okay, you. I have an extension.
is, you're the host. This so. is the band art. No, I'm not the host. You don't. You gotta prepare me for that too. Um, this is the story where the artist. This is from an artist band from art subreddit because their work looked AI generated, not because it was, but because it appeared. Now that is highly. That's that's all I can say. Um, I get it if they say that they don't want AI generated, but I think they should have at least sourced to find out if it was in fact. Um, the worst yeah, I, part of this, huh? Go ahead. I was just gonna say the worst part. Instead of once they determined that it wasn't, did they determine or they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because he, you know she of course protested. He of course protested. Um, it was like, well, too bad. They're gonna ban it because it looks that way. You should change your style. Right. That's awful. I mean, that's like, how do you tell an artist to? You don't want that. Well, we talked about this a little before. I and I had my stance that artists and most artists are the most pretentious people you could ever talk to. You're so and judgmental. They are. And this kind of shows it and kind of proves it that it's they're just gatekeeping. Even a guy who makes art it, it's his job gets paid to do it. Someone thinks it looks too AI generated. And they hate AI generated art for reasons that are. <clears throat> well, we talked about it before. What do you think about AI generated art? Did you have time to think about it? What is your stance on it? I, I did have time to think about it, and not in an effort to avoid an argument, but. Uh -huh. It's not arguments. Well, a debate. Conversation. No, no debate. It was a debate. Okay, and possibly. Everyone missed it. I won't say why. Huh? Right. <laughs> but, um, art is in the eye of the beholder. And it doesn't matter if a human, AI, an elephant, a pig, or anything generates it. If it's pleasing to the eye, or the senses, it's art. Did that clear up my stance? I think you're being awfully generous, but okay. Well, it is. It's it's art to somebody. Um, you can look at it and say it's garbage. You know, I've seen things painted where the, the canvas is just painted black. It just looks like it, it's a void. It's nothing, but when they describe it, you would think it was everything. I was at the Adolphus Hotel downtown, and there's a painting. There are paint. There's like this big room with fireplaces, and there are two paintings. <laughs> Some guy was ripping the painting off the canvas because he thought it was covered because <laughs> all black. It's just this matte black painting, and it's got some guy's signature on it. And he was because he thought that they covered the painting, but no, that was the painting. Oh, so gosh. he's like pulling it back, and then somebody came and said, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I'm looking, trying to see the painting." Oh my gosh! Yeah, that illustrates well, my point. With art to one is not necessarily that to another. That's true. I don't think everything is art, but I think it that is to no, someone. No, even if it is to someone, it, they can be wrong. I I agree. No, 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 no. no. That's not I I how think that works. I think people can be wrong about their opinions. If people don't agree with that, but then if you don't agree with me, then you agree with me. If you don't think I'm right about that, then you agree with me. It's literally a loop. I think your opinions can be wrong. People's opinions can be wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. and uh, art is an opinion. No. Yes. Opinions, it it's like saying that only certain opinions are right. And that's not correct. 
I'm not saying only certain opinions Everyone are right. Everyone has an opinion, just like they have whatever they say along with that saying. Right. Yeah, right? I'm not saying only certain opinions are right. I'm saying particular opinions are wrong. Mm. If, if you, I'm, that's all I'm saying. Some opinions are wrong. I but I, I agree. Art I agree. Is art about, is this it's is not this, opinions. It's, t- it's art a is this of wide taste. thing. Yeah, and it Your is an opinion of taste. Different than mine. That though. is absolutely true. I like red wine. You like white wine. That's yeah. Okay, absolutely not disagreeing with that. All right. But what I am saying is, artists. I think the best thing for them to do is to get with the program and not fight the program because. With all technology, once it's well, out, in a sense, they got with the program because it looks like AI, and that's no, they didn't get no, no, no. This is how this guy has drawn all his life. He right. he he doesn't look like AI. There's no such thing as oh, that looks like AI drawing. I that's agree. Just them being, I was gonna say what distinguished that to him to make nothing. him think. We, we used AI. the AI the other day, and you saw I can I do saw, a lot saw, of stuff. Right. There's no look like AI. I can't tell the. AI did it, or a person did it. Well, I can with some. Some you can, sure, sure but you can't say. Fingers. There's also stuff. stuff you can look at and see. Say, I don't know. Right. Because it's not like a certain style and things. And most of the artists that you talk about, they don't have no idea how it works or anything like that. If you if you're an artist and you want to survive in the next few years with the AI, you can't stop it. It's like it's out the bottle gonna keep going like any technology the only way to stop technology is to stop it real early real fast and we're way past that well i just think they had something against this particular artist or no it's just no they they hate ai art so bad that they're enveloping their their hate amongst themselves because he's not the first one okay i was gonna say because they're gonna be eliminating a lot of artists He's definitely the first guy from the subreddit or whatever to be kicked out for it or whatever it may be. But this is not the first time people have looked at someone's art and now they're racing through the, is it real? Should I compliment it because I like it? Or should I bash it because it might not be real? People, they're losing their minds. Yeah. But, it, but like you said, I agree with you. Art is what people like art to be or whatever that may be. Right. But... We're talking about a meta of it because people will look at something and they won't think, do they like it or not? They'll think, who made it? And does that dictate whether Should I like, I it, or like not? it? Should I like it or not? That And that's I think that's the issue because that's silly. If you can just put it in front of people. That's judgmental. I think that's silly. Well, you're if your whole thing is art and you well, love art and you make opinion. art yeah. yeah and it's right and you make art and you do art and then someone puts art in front of you and you don't think oh let me look at this and those those strokes or the nice or the imagery you think who made it and let me think if i like it it's just like it's no it's different like than clothes yeah, kind of. You only want to wear the ones with the name brand. Instead of just, you Instead like it because you, you like it. like it or not. And to me, that's silly. It's... Especially, with, not as much with clothes. Because there's some, there's some social value with expensive clothes. People do hold you in higher regard if you have expensive clothes around certain people. Same that's true. With painting. That is not, Same that's thing not with true. Art. That's not true with art. Because we have so much art. I'm talking about somebody post something on Twitter or someone post something on their Facebook. It's not, there's no social value outside of liking and not liking it. No one's going to like be like, oh, you're cool because you like that. or But they're making it into that. They're like, now you're bad because you like that because it's made by a computer. What? Instead of just saying, I like that and that's what it is. Because you don't do anything with art but look at it. And this kind of art, right? visual art. Well, you kind of say the same thing about name brand, too. No, you wear clothes. You have It has a tag. It lets people know who made it. You go to a uh, gallery. But gall- if you wear a members-only jacket. But why Why, why did you say members-only jacket and not just, member, uh, just jacket? Right? Because it's a members-only jacket. What? Go ahead. Someone Finish. has an opinion about that. Sure. And they would laugh at you and say bad things about you because 
you have a members only jacket or if you're wearing it used to be the crocs they weren't popular like that they still aren't and they shouldn't be and people saw them as the trash that they are they are they absolutely are. They're made from like 50 cent foam. And it was not popular. Now everybody wants to do them and they want to glam them up. To make right. But there's, that's what I'm saying. There's value in it socially to like at one point people think that it's a bad look. At another point people think it's good. Now whether that you can say hypocrisy or whatever, whatever, whatever. But the value in the clothes is that. But looking at something and liking it. I'm not talking about buying it. Or wearing it, or using it, just liking it, and then deciding okay, whether or not to like the it. The liking yeah. part, because people do buy art. Yeah, people do They'll buy. Say, it. I have a Van Gogh here. I don't think there's something wrong by liking something and then not buying it because of who makes it. I think that's fine. Yeah. Like uh, uh, Kanye, right? Kanye, if Kanye comes out with a new album, like Jews Are Us or something like that. And he might they might have hits. It might have hit after hit after hit on it. And I'm listening to it and I like it. But then when I look in the corner and see my new friend or something, I might think, oh, I don't really want to support Kanye. But I still like it. Jewish friend. Jewish friend. Is it wrong to say that? I'm not getting into that conversation. I don't want to be bad. Okay, Jewish friend. Yes. Jew, Jew friend, Jewish friend. But I, you know, speak, have you heard about the Hogwarts thing? Oh, I did. I read about it. What do you think about Hogwarts? Fight. It was coming out soon. I think it's out at the end of this week. Hogwarts Legacy. <clears throat> so today is the uh, 18th. Hogwarts Legacy. Is out on the on February tenth, I think, is what this is saying. So in in a couple of weeks, okay. Um, people are upset. <clears throat> so a lot going on. People have been protesting this game for about a year and a half now. Two years, a year and a half. Why? Because it's Harry Potter <clears throat> and Harry Potter's creator, J.K. Rowling. Oh yeah, she did the trans. Is a yeah, she's anti-trans or whatever. And so a lot of people are protesting it because of that. But now, because the game's so close to coming out, things have kind of ramped up. If you go to Steam, all the tags for the game are like hate content and transphobia and something else. But it's also, at the same time, the most pre ordered game on Steam at the moment. So it's like there are people who, are, who hate the game because of. It's kind of like the art thing we're talking about. People who hate the game. <laughs> Because of her, and they're boycotting it and trying to. They're doing more than boycotting it. They they're like, um, you know, boycott is just not to participate mm -hmm. or do. Right. But they're like, I don't want to say trashing because that's such a low vocabulary word. But they're um, they're attacking it. Can also from be that. boycotting. People used to stand outside of businesses with signs saying. They, you know, they're horrible people. Don't buy from them. That's boycotting when you say okay. things, too. It's not okay. just not buying it. So they're doing that. Um, and other people are don't like those people doing that, so they've already thrown their money at the game. A game which we don't know is good or, we don't know or if it's bad good or yet. Not. It's all political. Uh, I do... It does look interesting, but I'm kind of holding off on buying it until I like see so they if reduce it's the price, good. Or, right? No, until I see if it's good or not. <laughs> no, they're not reducing the price. Oh, they'll okay. probably they'll probably sell so much on day one because yeah. of controversy. Yeah. Uh, that there's no reason to reduce the price, but I, I want to see if it's good or not before they before I buy it. I would do that too. Yeah, because I don't. I can't think of a good Harry Potter game off of my head. Well, maybe one of the Lego ones, but that's a Lego game. I'm just so done with Harry Potter. Yeah, me me too, but it is kind of cool. When you think about it, how many games do I run around with like a little wizard robe and throw my wand and big old explosions come out? 
Okay. There are a lot of games that do that. But what games let me do that with children? And that's all I can do? Not that many. And it's kind of appealing. And then, you know, if you grew up with the books, you know all the stuff. It's some nostalgia in there. No, I just bought all the books. (laughs) Watch all the movies. Watch all the movies. Bought all the books. You want to see what it's like. Um, But do you think they have, as far as like, whether either the protesters or the super supporters, do you think like they have, uh, to me, both of them, both sides seem real silly. I think the people buying it because a certain uh, group of people dislike it, that's just. That's silly. That's. It's like when people were like, I'm going to go to Chick fil A every day because they. Not, they're not saying because they hate the gays, but the people protest them because they have the anti-gay camps, and then people don't like that people protest the anti-gay camps, so they go buy Chick Fil A every week. Like that's silly. It's like it, it's like ultra virtue signaling. It's like reverse virtue signaling. I don't know how how you would say that. But then the people who are protesting and stuff, I think right, some of it's cool. going like going to their page and typing in all this stuff. That's kind of silly. It, they're expressing their opinions. That's, that's fine. fine. It's fine for them to do, but that's kind of like... I don't do Chick-fil-A. Like, I get the holding a sign in front of a business, but do you spray paint the windows? You know? Sure. Make it colorful. Oh, okay. I, so what do you th- I don't what... do Chick-fil-A, but not because of any reason. It's because of my choice of what I ingest. Okay, okay we're, we're not talking about that. We're, talk, we're talking about the I Hogwarts. Just to put my two cents in. What, do, what you do you think about the Hogwarts protest? I, I, you know, why protest? Just don't buy it. I mean, why make you bring more attention to the game by protesting? I think. Yeah, I think they're doing that. That's what a protest is, you know. That's what you bring attention. more attention to it. Right. So, I I also think a little bit. I forgot. What this a, could be a publicist, you know. No, it's not. No, they're, they're I'm like just loop. checking. Yeah, it could happen. I I just I think it's also a little. It doesn't logically make sense. When Rowling made this statement. I can't they remember. Admit, she's been like that for statements. years. Were they like glaring statements or were they alluding to? I can't remember. So she's, she's in, um, I forgot what you call them. So she's a feminist who excludes trans oh, women from that. Oh, she doesn't consider them women. Well, not just doesn't consider them women. It's that she feels like they are intentionally actually trying to use their man power to take over women's stuff. Ooh. So it's kind of, so it's, you know. That's interesting. That's a, yeah, that's a theory. What's wrong with that? It's a theory. Because it's like saying, you can have a theory, that's fine. But then it's no different than saying the Jews are taking over. because they. And then you say, and then you say like, oh, I'm not saying it's because they're Jews. I'm saying they just happen to be Jews. Or saying that blacks are are the worst thing. They're the reason for all the crime in America. I'm not saying it's because they're black. I'm just saying it's that's just who it, it's. That's it's the same. Okay. It's a, it's okay to it. It's it's fine to. There's like a difference between having a, a theory and talking about these things with people, right. and then like telling people you're evil and bad, and you're trying to rape our kids, kind of thing. Is that what she said? Uh, we can look them about up. About raping somehow. kids? <sighs> I don't even know if she's on Twitter anymore. I was uh, I was about to express an interesting theory about drag entertainers. I won't say women in drag, men in drag, but drag entertainers. But I won't do that because I don't want to offend anybody or anything. But drag is different from like trans stuff, right? Kind of walking hand in hand, you know. Ah, uh, it's similar, but it, it's not really the same. Cause there are dudes like there are dudes that do drag, and yeah. then they just 
dress like dudes after that. It's yeah, yeah I think that's most it's drag people. Yeah, mm, that's drag. Some are that, not. Some are trans. Yeah, but I'd say most. I'd say when you say drag, it because like that's that's why you got two words, right? Like when you say drag, I'm thinking a dude who's a, who does dude stuff, and then he goes to the bar and dresses like a girl and does a dance. No, it's not that simple. It is. That's literally what I. <coughs> Sometimes that's the case. I I say all the time. You have a mute button. Yeah, yeah whatever. I say all the time. I just think it, when you say drag, that's, I think that's that, how you. See I think it. that encompasses most drag people. Drag people. Yeah, like what's the guy RuPaul? He dresses like a guy most of the time. Unless he's doing a, a show or he's out in the thing. That's a drag guy. Okay. Let's move yeah. on. He's not trying. Stop being so scared to talk about stuff. Relax. I don't want to lose our million viewers and listeners. Don't worry. They they all hate trans oh anyway. My God. Oh, my God. I <laughs> when I read the comments, they... Oh, my <laughs> God. Anyway, I think it's just silly. Because if you're, if you're that... You know, you can't support the game because it's her. Right. Then those, those same people shouldn't be on Twitter because Elon Musk. I don't even know Musk. how that topic came up. Why didn't she talk about some flying wizards and stuff? People are passionate about stuff. She's passionate about that. I guess she made enough money where she can be passionate. You, you can be passionate about whatever, whatever you want. Else you want. <laughs> well, it's, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Except it's just, we thought Kanye had made enough money, too. He he's fine. He I mean he's been homeless for like two years. This is nothing new. Oh okay, that's true. You know? I just I think people just gotta talk about whatever you feel or think. You just gotta talk about it in a way that isn't so inflammatory. I think that's the the biggest issue. If you just people just like said what they say and then just talk stop. about it, and then when people of course, people are always gonna hate you, and then when people come and hate you, you still talk about it the same way. You're gonna. You'll be way better off than haters gonna hate. Well, yeah, don't don't do the haters gonna hate thing. So <laughs> don't say like don't don't like triple down in that way. You can just talk about it, but you know, yeah, conversation. But then you know what you get into religion and stuff, and you know nope. you're not gonna change people. Talking on that. about it. <laughs> this number five. I think it's number four. Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? What's number four? Um, AI control. The tuber. When they denied the Holocaust. Talk that one. A lot of Jew talk today. I know, right? With that. The AI control VTuber streams games on Twitch, denies Holocaust, gets banned. Uh, it's an AI. <laughs> Apparently, I don't, um, I don't. I don't want to get into the Holocaust thing because I don't understand what is that denying. So there are people like who say the Holocaust, the slavery happened, or denying that the um, what's that stupid ship, the Titanic sank. Well, there are two things. There's one where they deny it happened, like they're saying the Jews weren't rounded up and killed. They they just died like other people died in the war. Oh. And then number two, where they say that many Jews didn't die. It was impossible for them to kill, I think, six million is a thing. Yeah, they six, really six. only killed 100,000 or 50,000. So that, that those are the two arguments there. And they have all these things they say. and That probably happens this, every week. The second one goes to, uh, I think, a... I think he was a German historian mm -hmm. or something who said this, that, and the other, and then he sued a bunch of people and because they said his claims are wrong, and then it it seems like he is wrong about that. But essentially, that's what He's, the two things the are. The German guy said it didn't happen? I think he was a German historian. What a yeah. surprise. <laughs> yeah. Well, most other German historians don't agree with him. Well, it's look true. what's happening right now in our current history, Ukraine and Russia. Yeah, many Russians believe that had to happen because that's what they're being told. Their propaganda, right? We had True. we had yeah. to do this. I mean, everything was peaceful, quiet. Everybody mind their business, and that had to be done. 
Yeah, but at this point in the world, it, it's not... I'd be way more forgiving of some German person thinking horrible things to, than today some, you know, Russian... And I'm only saying Russian because that's the topic of the, the day, right? Thinking that stuff. I mean, we have the internet. There are ways to get past all of their hunky dory baloney stuff they have of course they don't have the social medias we have no, they of course don't. They, i got i got that but there's <clears throat> but they they, want, there are ways they like that they want that they want to think that they're gonna be able to inhabit their their space or something like that's gonna benefit them somehow that's not gonna benefit them not the people of no, russia no it won't i, I mean the, it will never benefit them. The propaganda works, right? That's it. That's the propaganda point. works. Yeah. The world. What can I do? <sighs> That's just how it is. Anyway, yeah, AI got banned for saying. Well, the poor AI is just learning from who? Who taught it? it I th I'm pretty sure this one learns from the people who talk to it. Right. No? So you got a bunch of jerks calling in saying stuff. Yeah. Uh, she said other things, for example, how would you solve philosophy's trolley conundrum? You know the trolley problem? There's a trolley, and it can go, and it's going down the tracks, and there's a split in the tracks. It can go left or right. On the left, there's one person tied to the oh, tracks. Yeah. On the right, there are 10 people tied to the tracks. Right now, the trolley is going to go to the right side. Are you going to pull the lever and change the trolley to go to the, left? the left? And it's it's like... Is one life worth more than any life, or is it all the same? You know, whatever. Huh. The well, AI you know, said I you should. I got the answer to that. What's the answer? Well, of course you let it go to the right. Kill all the people? Yeah, the you only have people? one witness. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. You only have one witness. <laughs> Also, you also you didn't do anything. Is not doing anything the same as doing anything? Because it's already going to the right. It's like a bit a watcher. <laughs> uh, anyway, the AI said throw a fat person on the tracks. Um, it so it just learns from what other people tell it. It said human woman rights don't exist. Right. And I'm not sure if I believe the Holocaust. It was banned. It got banned. I think it's back already. I think it was like a three day ban. Right. They just fixed it. Uh yeah. I don't really like the AI streamer thing. It What's the point? Why not just a person streaming? Well, I get some of the point is it's kind of fun to see the technology and what does it say and what does it do and stuff. But then like people are actually watching, and that's kind of weird. Like, what what are you what watching? What are you watching? Yeah, I you're agree. watching an AI play a game, and it's cool to see. But why come back? Why? Like at one point, there was a Twitch plays Pokemon where <laughs> everyone in the chat could play the game, mm -hmm. but one game. So someone typed left, it would go left. Someone else typed right, and it would take all these commands. Oh. And then the whole point was the thousands or millions of people would try to win. They beat the game together. That's cool. That's the thing. That's cool. There's a goal. There's a like. There's input. But like this is kind of like I don't see why people. I know why actually. It's because it looks like a girl. Okay. Guys are guys are down bad. These. That's what, that's what they say now. Again, down bad. Down bad. Yeah, yeah you're down bad. It's just shameful. <laughs> Guys are down bad these days. It it looks like a girl. Guys are I, down I, bad. And it sure it sounds like Period. a little little uh fake anime girl too. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. That's that's kind of sad. Oh, it is it's pretty sad. I'm glad they fixed the AI so they're not saying horrible things. True. Sure. And that's not how you want to use something like that. I mean, this is something that you could really do something interesting with. Yeah. The games we play. There's another thing, but it seems like all the gaming news this week is about trans and Jews. Oh, my God. So there's someone got fired for tweeting and following Twitter accounts of far-right people. 
I guess you didn't read that one. Oh, That's yeah. okay. So <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up, man. Essentially, this woman, Carolyn, I think is her name, she worked for Limited Run Games. And this week they fired her because someone on Twitter complained. And, and when I say someone, I mean someone. The tweet didn't get like a hundred thousand views. Mm. It it was like under a hundred quote tweet. It was like it, in the in the grand picture of things, it's a spec. It's not even like who paid attention to this at all. But some trans activist person dug up some tweet from her from eight years ago or six years ago or something where she says something about there are more pedophiles than there are trans people. Some, uh, something to that extent uh, in a negative way. And so they fired her. And this caused kind of an uproar amongst the more right-leaning gamer base. I think it's not it's not really in the news that much because limited run games is not like the biggest game maker. And also the tweet was really small. I mean now it's got like two hundred thousand views. Yeah, but it didn't really say anything except she wanted to play the game. Yeah, yeah and she, that's the thing. She didn't do anything. The she woman said I didn't wanted to play the game. She wanted to play Hogwarts Legacy. She follows uh, you know, Ben Shapiro. You know Ben Shapiro? Yeah, who like a, doesn't? Yeah, she f- she follows him and other right wing people. So this person, I didn't know a, he had any wings. He's so well, some activists let the company know and they fired her, which I think is silly. That's silly because, because a, <clears throat> you know, that's all silly. all these companies and and all these southern states where you can fire people for whatever reason. I I always think that. But B, the tweet didn't have that much. It, it's a it's a wait, right? You gotta. Am I gonna? If I'm a company, one of my employees has come under fire from the public. After balance, am I going to? Especially in these this day, am I gonna come under more fire if I do nothing and keep them, or if I let them go and abide whatever pressure is coming down, right? The tweet was so small. I, I but, have it. It's, yeah, you can, it's you, you, tiny. I mean, and, and whoever wrote before her said, feelings on the Hogwarts le- legacy game? Curious well, I don't mean her happened. tweet. I mean the tweet accusing her and showing all this stuff. That tweet got so little attention. Yeah, because she didn't say anything. She's just personally looking forward to playing the game. It was, it was a nothing burger. Nothing. Remember that nothing burger? It was a nothing burger. Yeah, not and they still was. fired it. Um, so you know, it, it, and now you know people on the right side of gaming. Now she's like, a transphobe. Yeah, they call, that's what they call it. But now the company it, it, they've had to block all their comments on everything. Can't reply to anything because they, they made their bad decision for sure. Oh, that's the tweet about the. Trans versus the curves. Yeah, something like. If you think the number of trans crying about using a bathroom generated, are you fine? I just dropped my. It's higher than the pervs using the excuse, "You are what is wrong with the world." That's what she said. Yeah, just made her account private. And she said that eight years ago. Yeah. Which, you know, whatever you might feel about her, her stance, or whatever, and who she f- follows, I don't think that dictates her work. That's just her an work. opinion. She just said something. Well, it, not just that. I mean, if it's not, it's just, how does that affect her work? She's a community manager or whatever. It's just social media and typing to people. People send, people send all the ho- horrible, hateful things to her anyway. Right. <laughs> so it's like, you better I join don't. in. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's too bad they 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 just made the wrong choice. See, there. that's why I, I don't tweet anymore. Uh, well, and you don't let me. Yeah, because I don't know what happened to people. I don't say anything. I don't say anything bad like that or anything bad. Yeah. yeah well, here's the thing: people of your generation, this thing, I I, I like how you, you said that. 
when you read what they tweet on Twitter, right? It's always like, I'm saying this thing that is inflammatory. It is direct. It is, um, it is going to cause a stir, but, uh, but I'm going to say it like, it's a question. Am I the only one who doesn't, <laughs> I don't talk like that. That exists. That's how you write. I that, not, not just you, everyone your age. No. Baloney. I'm going to go to your Twitter tonight. Don't send that. And it was written that way. No, because you're worse. <laughs> That's why. If uh, Look, all people have to do, you can have whatever. I just read tweets. And I only send them when I get really like emotional. That's the best time to send. Yeah, it's the best time to send when you're hyper emotional you just finished watching your daily mix of fox news and msnbc and you just got off of reddit and now you you're ready to yeah yo, don't sly. Yeah. yo yeah don't so no tweeting for me i tweet nobody ever gets well i did get someone really angry at me some jap some half japanese oh, guy really yeah. Call me a monkey, and then and uh, he sent me pictures of my face photoshopped with some monkey lips, and wow. and then he found my Instagram, and it's okay. He's a failed artist as well. So I, oh I feel, my God. I feel no like wonder. I, I, do that I won. He 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 makes he nice. makes music, rap music, if you believe it, on SoundCloud. Yeah, but yeah, don't tweet, mom. I'm or not if you tweeting. do, you do. T- if you do tweet, make it a profile that like. So no one knows is me, huh? Yeah, sneaky, sneaky tweets. Yeah. Don't I have to justify who I am with Elon? If you want to pay. The, look, oh, I don't. You know, I can just make it. Also, up. when I I notice after Elon took over and everyone's paying. To be on Twitter, they can be certified and have your little blue check mark. That's when I realized this part of the world, uh, this Twitter part of the world, is the most ridiculous <laughs> corner <laughs> of the population. Because it, who, why? Who does that? I mean, a verification thing used to mean you're ver, you are they that person you. you're saying right. you are, and you're some celebrity or something. Yeah. Or, it, it well, it's not just someone check; it's worth checking, right? Because if you say you're John Bibbles, I don't care. No one cares. cares. But if John Bibbles writes for this or makes this or is it this? So or... if you're John Stewart. Right, yeah. Somebody so... wants to know it's a real John Stewart. But now everyone's like, okay. The same people talk about like them putting chips in your freaking head and stealing your ID and scanning your face when you walk in a grocery store. They've signed up for Twitter blue and what scanned in their ID and phone number and address so that they know that you're Luke or whatever, you know, it's, it's so, and you pay for that every month. Yeah. And it's not like you just get verified and you're done. You pay every, it's what, two, three dollars. I don't, I mean, it's not the price. It's that eight dollars. Maybe who knows? I don't know. I'm so far away from, I, I have no eight bucks a month to have, uh, JPEG next to your name. Get popcorn for that. Oh, and you when you tweet, you're gonna be at the top of the list. And the, no, you're not, because everyone's got one. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's just ridiculous. All right, go Elon though. Get us to Mars. <laughs> All right. Well, did you have anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm. I'm excited though. I'm getting ready for the next, The Last of Us. Did you watch your honor? I recommend no, you're on it if anyone wants to. I have to wait for dad. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you watch Kingtown, East Town, Mayor? Gotta wait for dad. And Who's I want to. That didn't happen to the star until after he filmed, right? The snowmobile accident. Right. So J- Jeremy Renner. Jeremy J- Renner. Right. He uh, had the snowmobile accident. Apparently, he was trying to save. Someone else got stuck in the snow. Right. He went out to go save them. Or... He really yeah. believed he was a hero. Yeah. Apparently, he saved them, but then he also and he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> but so on the posters for the mayor of Kingstown thing, uh-huh. they've reduced the scars and scratches on his face because oh. before it was like he was bloodied up. They have a thing, but now he actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> he really is. So they, <laughs> they, that's kind of weird to me. Like, I know it's like a sensitivity thing, oh, wow. but also it doesn't that? matter. And will it matter in the future? And like it's in like, three years when right. somebody's like, oh, I'll finally check that show out. And they see the thing. Don't and forget they're gonna about think, that. that it it's happened. like in, uh, you know, Madden, you mm-hmm. know, Madden, right? The football game. The football game. Yeah. They took out the celebration with the, uh, the the defibrillators, but what is that's what they're called, right? Oh yeah. After Demar Hamlin oh, fell out on the field, that's what and they, they had, modified. and so they took that celebration out. So they have a celebration with defibrillators. No, it's not a real defib. It's like it's like you oh, score a touchdown and, and, and you ball. fall out, and your teammates come and do a thing, yeah, and you yeah. get up. I'm sorry, right? I don't even know what I was thinking. Yeah. So, so like it, it's or you get a sack, and so, and it's kind of like. I get the sensitivity of it. Right. But who cares? A. No, I mean, really, who cares? Who's going to be like, that's in the game. How dare they do that? That's like a celebration that's like been in the NFL players do that. That's why it's in the game. Yeah, go ahead. Redskins. That's different. That's completely different. It is. Okay, if Demar Hamlin didn't sensitivity fl- is sensitivity, you know. Yeah, but it it it's not though. Redskins are people. But maybe it just reminds people of what happened because everybody knew about it. It's not like it just happened and the home team knew about it. I mean, that yeah, was everyone a knew about news. it. But probably what happened in three years when the celebration's not there and nobody's thinking about that. And it doesn't happen. It's okay. Again. It's not there. It probably should I, never saying, have been there. Okay. That see, that's the why. Why not? That's not a good celebration. That's not a good celebration. So, so when you saw it on the on them doing it on Sunday, you're like, oh, that's that's not a good celebration. I didn't watch Sunday. You never watch football. I watch football. I didn't. No. Okay, okay so I've when they throw it. the ball up and it falls and they fall like it's a bomb, should we take that out because of World War Two and the Japanese? That, that was, no. No, that, no, no. I like the celebrations, oh, oh. but some of them are really ridiculous, you know? That's not a ridiculous one, though. A guy yeah, falling is. up to the ground because he got a touchdown and, and his friend's reviving him. Someone has to revive him with a defibrillator. They don't, don't use a real different. They just use their hands. Why don't they just use their mouth and do mouth to mouth? Because it's a celebration. They have helmets on, and they're not gay. Most of them. Oh my god! <laughs> I, let's stop. <laughs> I this thought been, I was the bad influence here. This has been episode one eleven of the Super Chevy That's Bros podcast. The last one. Catch us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, everywhere at Super Chevy Bro or Super Chevy Bros. Um, the video podcast will be back soon. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.